about the lighting. We have our windows open behind me because we got a new little plant. Anyway, it's Thursday, April 20. I feel like I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. We're gonna do a little vlog today. I'm gonna show you some new stuff that I got. I'm gonna show you the rest of our plants because we finally basically planted our whole house. Right now I'm just getting ready. Another reason why I haven't really vlogged is because things have just been crazy and I have been sick. I'm still basically recovering. <coughs> basically I'm still recovering. It's been crazy here in California. I feel like everybody's sick. My girlfriend has literally been sick since January. I'm on like week three, which is crazy because the last week I actually started getting better and then the next day I got sick again. I don't even know how that happened. I literally didn't go anywhere. I was like packing for Vegas and I went to Vegas and it was actually a pretty miserable trip for me to be honest because Vegas weather was so dry and I already had a cough. No, actually, I feel like I was only coughing when I went to Vegas because the air was so dry. And obviously you're in the casino, people are smoking. I feel like it made it worse. So I probably shouldn't have gone, but I actually was feeling better because I got like an IV drip the day before and I thought I was getting better, but no. Anyway, I think we're finally getting better. <laughs> Today is like the first day that I actually woke up feeling okay. I don't know, it's like weird because I am taking some medicine. I don't even know you guys. I just want to get better. Let's go make the bed and then we're going to come back, do some gua sha and a little bit of no makeup makeup. Then I'm going to show you some new stuff. much better all I needed to do was literally turn on the lights all right so I am going to do gua sha to my face so I have been doing this for literally I would say the last month and I really have loved it so I have all the new face tools I feel like I have other things that help sculpt your face but the reason why I love the gua sha like I like all of those like devices the problem is, is I always forget to charge them. And then the minute that I really actually need it, I don't have the time to wait for it to charge. I love that this could do exactly what those devices do and I never have to charge it. And I also, it's just so little and slim. I could literally pack it with me if I ever go anywhere. Like I brought this to Vegas with me last weekend and I was able to do it really quickly. And another reason why I love it is that I realized I could give myself a full on sinus massage since I've been sick using it. I'm done with my eye stuff, so let's take it out. So I've been literally just, you know, watching videos and this is what I do. I massage it down this side a couple times to kind of drain it. And then I'll go like this and tug a little bit three or four times to just really kind of like drain it out and then I'll do the same thing on this side and you know I could feel like there is some pressure there because for me it's really just all like upper respiratory stuff just really annoying like having a cough is so annoying because then you become that person like i would rather blow my nose in public than cough because then everyone after covid is just like looking at you and then i do this because this pressure on my forehead is just crazy it's a lot better but this kind of helps me relieve some tension sorry if this is so boring i basically had to kind of learn i just kind of youtubed some videos on how to use the gua sha i watched a couple different videos and they all pretty much did it the same way so i just went off of those videos and you know i guess there's just like so many different ways you could use this tool which is why it's great i also have this one that's completely different and i need to google how to use that because it's not exactly the same and i just go to the side here you guys i have not been sick like this in years or actually i lied i had covid last year but that was 
different. Like that was like a whole body sickness. I hated it. I was just like, oh my God, this is so miserable. I was weak. I had all the symptoms. I didn't lose my smell or taste, thank goodness. But this time around, I'm just coughing and I get these cough attacks and I literally can't stop. And it's been hindering me from sleeping. And so it's just like when you don't sleep, your immune system is so weak. And so it's like, how do you get better? I keep coughing at night and I just don't sleep because I keep coughing. Anyway, that's kind of what I do to alleviate some pressure. I don't know if that's like a good thing or a right way to do it for, you know, the pressure here, but it helps me. So don't come at me telling me I'm doing it the wrong way. And then I didn't get to finish this sculpting side. So I'm just gonna sculpt it like this a couple times. And then again on this side, just kind of pull it up. And it's okay if your skin gets red. Then I just go like this. I do like 10 reps, 10 to 12. And then I'll go like this and really kind of like sculpt and contour the cheekbone area. And I don't know, they always say to like go like this, kind of like tug a couple times. I'm not sure why, but I just still do it because they said to. All right, so that is pretty much it. We're sculpted. Oh, I also laminated my brows about two weeks ago. The best thing I ever did with my sparse brows was go to this new lady to laminate them. And it's crazy how it actually looks like I have brows and I barely even need to fill them in. It was just night and day from the last time I, the first time I ever got a lamination done, I, it wasn't the best. Like, I don't think she did a really great job, but this lady that I went to, which is also very risky trying to find a new brow lady, but she was great. I did a lot of research and I was like, I'm just gonna go do it. But of course, as soon as I sat in my chair, I was kind of regretting it. But when I left there, I was like, oh my God, this was a really good decision. Also the key was I haven't touched my brows in like a year. So I just let them grow wild and crazy. And this is why they are so long. So let's get ready. I have been doing this like no makeup makeup routine lately that I really, really like. This is the first time I've actually been very comfortable in my own skin, like without wearing any anything foundation it's really just like a little bit of blush and concealer and a little bit of powder in my t-zone and just filled in my brows i start off with this little milk makeup pore eclipse mattifying primer the reason why i like this one is because it's not so intense with the mattifying you know how some primers can just make you so matte so intense and this one's just kind of like middle of the road and then i'll color correct i use this excuse me oh my god laura mercier secret camouflage brighten and correct duo so i'll just you see how dark they are because of the lack of sleep i have gotten just color correct like that i'll either take my fingers or a beauty blender I also have to say something because it drives me nuts. I literally just posted a reel on Instagram showing how I packed for my weekend in Vegas in a carry-on. I said certain things in the video and I even literally said that I didn't pack any hot tools because I was going with my girlfriends and I basically asked my girlfriends if they were bringing hot tools like curling iron, flat iron, and they said yes. So I was like, there's no need for all of us to bring the same things. So I'm not gonna bring a hot tool and I'll use theirs. More room for me. Although if I did bring a hot tool, it would have still fit in my carry-on. Basically, no one reads captions these days and literally the answer, I always try to put in the caption or I'll say it out loud in my videos and I'll still get questions. And I'm like, dude, the answer is right there. I also just go over my eyelid with the leftover concealer just to brighten it because see the difference? This is a lot darker. This just kind of brightens up the whole area, at least for me. So, so whatever's left over on the sponge, I just kind of go 
up top. And then I set the eye area with this Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Powder. And then I'll also just kind of like pat it over my nose and my T-zone, the little shiny areas. Then I'll take the Charlotte Tilbury blush. Sorry, can't talk very well today because of my cough. I love this little flush that it gives me. Put a little bit on my forehead. Then for brows, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. And like I said, I ba barely need to fill it in. All right, and then I just basically kind of line it up with my nose. I needed to just stop playing around and take my cough medicine, so that's what I just did. Okay, so that's that. And then just some to the end right here because my brows are pretty short. Just fill in a little this, of the sparse areas in between. And then like literally, that is it. All because of the lamination, whereas I used to take probably 20 minutes, I feel like sometimes, to do my brows. And that's just a lot of time. So I need to kind of research on brow laminations back to back to see, you know, like, if it's okay to keep doing that, if the brow hairs will be okay, because I really kind of want to keep it going, because this is really just such a time saver. Okay, so brows are done. I'm going to line my lips. This is a Nova Beauty, basically Fashion Nova, pink nude lip liner, and I have never bought anything from Fashion Nova, but they sent me this whole line of theirs, and this liner is pretty freaking good, and... It even comes with a little brush like this so you can kind of brush out the line so there's no harsh line. I was pretty surprised because it's super creamy. I think like super inexpensive for these two and they had great colors. I'm like the worst at lining my lips. It didn't always used to be this way but you know as I got older I feel like my lip line is diminishing so I almost don't know where my lip line even is and I feel like if I got lip filler, it would solve that problem, but I just don't wanna get lip filler. I've done it before, twice. It's just so freaking painful, and I think I'm just like over it. And I always see videos of lip filler migrating, and I'm like, oh my God. I've actually never used the brush side. Pretty cool though. Then I'll just take my Glossier little lip balm. This is in the color Portrait. There you go, that's pretty much it optional to curl your lashes and add mascara but i think for today i'm just gonna stop right there but this is my little fresh faced no makeup makeup look that i have been doing lately and i just really love how clean and fresh it's like that clean girl aesthetic that everyone keeps talking about and I really didn't know how to achieve that and I love the way it looks on other people. So I figured out basically my version of it and this is it. Okay, I mentioned to you guys I wanted to show you some new stuff I got. So these are some brand new Cezanne pieces. If you guys are not familiar with Cezanne, they are a really, really cute French brand that's so effortless and chic. So I have this tank top. They have really great like, you know, seasonal pieces, but they also have really great basics as well. So this tank is obviously from Cezanne. These jeans, I think they're called the Brute, but they fit so nicely. I love the color. I did size up to a size 25. This is just such a great base to start with. But then I'm going to show you these cardigans. Hold on. All right, I just threw on this gorgeous cardigan from Cezanne. It comes in so many different colors. I went up to a size small. The texture of this is gorgeous. It's almost like a cashmere. It has some little fuzzies to add some really nice subtle texture. And this is just something you could easily wear like this or drape over your shoulders. Drape it over your shoulders with dresses. I just added a belt to this outfit. This is just such a cute like throw on and go running errands i feel super comfy and cute here i just love doing like the french little throw over your shoulders look this is great for spring summer being out and about in the daytime when it's hot throw this over your shoulder and wear it at night all right next up i could not resist getting another cardigan and i love 
this like tan and white stripe. So obviously you can wear this any way you want to, drape it over your shoulders, whatever, but I also just love buttoning one or two buttons and then just kind of like draping it like this. So it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a peekaboo, but it's a little something fun. <laughs> Maybe if you're not with your kids, if I'm not with Presley, but I love this one. Again, it's that same fuzzy vibe going. And again, this one comes in so many different colors. This one is also a size small. All right, next up, I have this romper and you guys know I barely ever do print, but there's something about this print that I loved so much. It felt a little bit vintage and I don't know, I just, I love the colors. It's nothing too crazy. Love that it came with this gorgeous belt. It just looks so like designer and so expensive. And I think that's why I just really loved it. And it's still like a little neutral. And this is something I definitely would wear on vacation or just during a really hot day to look cute, just thrown really quickly with some flats like this. I love this so much, it's so gorgeous. And the sleeves are pretty long, but it's kind of cute that way. You could fold it up more if you wanted to. And also the belt is optional, so you don't have to wear it. You could just take it off, but I just like love the little detail that it gives. All right, last but not least, I had to get this dress. It is like the perfect summer dress. So it's so flattering, it's so airy, it just feels so nice, it's comfortable. It's also the perfect length and it kind of crisscrosses in the back but it still has a zipper so it's really easy to get in and out of. It's flowy, it's just like the perfect epitome of summer dress. All right, and here I just draped the cardigan I showed you guys earlier over this dress. I literally, one of the reasons I got this cardigan is to wear it like this with this dress. It's like the perfect cardigan for this dress. This whole outfit feels so nice. I feel so nice in it and I feel like I'm on a vacation. You guys need this whole outfit, I'm telling you. All right, that is it for this little try on. If you guys want anything, all the links will be in the description box. Be sure to check it out. And I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video. So now Jamie and I are off to the mall and we're going to go and try to find him some outfits for Stagecoach. So sorry if the air is really loud in here. We just don't know how to control how loud it is. We don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, but I can't. Anyway, we're trying to do his stagecoach outfits today because he leaves on Sunday for a work trip for like a couple days. Basically, he won't have any time when he gets back to look for anything. So yeah, we're doing it today. It's such a nice day outside. It's been nice, thankfully. The rain has seemed to subside and we're just kind of having a nice day. Yeah, I like having a nice day. It's fun. Kind of fun, obviously. There were some things I wanted to do for work, but I'm also vlogging, but I also have tomorrow to do it. And yeah, I thought it probably would be nice for me to get out because I've just been kind of in the house because I've been sick for so long. You know what, that's a good call, actually. Feeling the sun, yeah, feeling the sun and just getting some fresher air. here trying on some clothes for Jamie. Lining is terrible. The thing with him is that he takes forever <laughs> to try clothes on. He just kind of stands around, looks at himself in a couple different mirrors just for one shirt. So if he has like five shirts, it's gonna take a long time. Whereas me, I try something on and I know. I just wanna get out of there. I actually never shop in person. I just do everything online because I don't wanna deal with the lines and the people. I'm okay. All right, we're on our way home. Sitting in a little bit of traffic. I had to take my hair off because I was getting a little bit of a headache. But so freaking annoying because when we got in our car, this is Jamie's car, but when we got in Jamie's car, we started driving. His car alerted us that they detected a collision. And so we pulled over and he checked around and he saw that the car was hit. Of course, the person just did a hit and run and like super freaking annoying. Well, we were parked and the person backed up into my car and then just took off and didn't leave a note, anything. Just yeah. sideswiped my car, 
Just like I'm a big believer in karma, so that person's gonna get his or hers, but like, just do the right thing, you know? Like, if you hit somebody, just leave a note with your info because you'll always somehow get it back to you. And I don't know, I was just always taught to do the right thing. Like, I just would never do that. The worst part about it all was that, you know, it's a pretty upscale new mall. They actually do have cameras, so I called the security office. But I think the worst part about it is that when I called the security office is that they were so freaking rude. And then in my head, I was like, wow, this is what it's like. Like, you can't even call security and, like, feel good and feel okay. Even security just makes you feel like such crap for calling. And I even had to ask to speak to somebody else because the lady was just so freaking rude. She didn't even know what happened. Like, our car just got hit, and that's not a big deal. Like, it's just things, and it can be fixed easily. But what if I called because something had happened? to me or, me or Presley, you know, cause we take her to that mall all the time. And like, she just answered the phone that way. It was just such an attitude. And I'm like, wow, what if something happened to me and Presley? Is that like what I have to look forward to when I call a security office? I can't even feel good about calling or feel better about my situation that they're gonna help. Cause I don't even wanna deal with that. And that's just like so frustrating that that's how it is sometimes. But anyway, we had, security come down and the supervisor came down and he was actually very receptive about it and was very apologetic and knows that that's not how any security should be handled it's just i don't know they're i would think they have some sort of like empathy or training to have empathy because you're supposed to be security i don't understand it it's just it's freaking horrible again it's just things that can be fixed at the end of the day it wasn't like it was like pretty deep scratches but I think it's just like the principle of everything like of course like you can't rely on people that they're gonna do the right thing by leaving a note right but I mean I would have just because I just always believe in karma and things like that but anyway we're on our way home Presley will make it a better day. Another annoying thing was that we had sushi and I chose the place to have sushi at this mall and I I've been seeing this sushi place. It's like a cute sushi place in the like, middle of the mall. Let's go, let's go have a burger. Let's go no, Javier's. this guy wanted to have like Let's go all to... the bad stuff and I, because I've been sick, I haven't been able to work out. I feel like I've been eating all the bad stuff so I wanted something like semi-healthy and I was thinking sushi and that was like the only sushi spot I think in the whole mall and it's like in the middle. It's like a really nice cute ambiance and you know, every other restaurant in there is good so this place has to be good otherwise I don't understand how they're able to pay the rent like people have to be going there and eating there because this place has been open for a while and that rent is probably super expensive remember otherwise the, they wouldn't still be standing remember the role wasn't completed maybe that no that aside. presentation was fine i just i just could tell by the way the sushi looked that it maybe wasn't as fresh but i i just did not enjoy it and i'm the one that chose <laughs> to go to the sushi I place. I know, you usually are good with your choices. Yeah, but I didn't have many choices for sushi. That was the only choice. And I just, like I explained to you just now, I'm like, how bad could it be? It's in that mall and, you know, Maybe like every restaurant in that mall is mall. good. Oh, that's true. Every restaurant is pretty good. No, like, you know, Kazunori could have been in there. Sugarfish could have been there. Kazunori is the, the hand roll, like, restaurant that we love that's really good Ketsui so is going kind there. of reminded me of that oh yeah Ketsui is going in there which is another good restaurant that we like but it's just annoying so basically we're gonna have sushi tonight to make up for it and yay sushi redo yeah it's a redo it's a revenge for the bad sushi we had sushi. earlier it's a revenge sushi and I think that'll make us feel better again it's you know things happen and it sucks but it can always be fixed what's important is that we're safe our daughter's safe and yeah we're healthy yes. semi <laughs> we're getting healthy slow cough anyway we're thankful i think this is a good time to be thankful for the things that 
we do have, even though something super, super annoying happened, we still have a lot, you know? Yeah. That was just unfortunate that that happened. It's just really annoying. It's annoying that the person just did that and left. It's just sad when you realize your car just got hit and there's nothing you can do about it. You just know that it was just somebody <laughs> that just hit your car, took off, didn't care, and then yeah. now, now I have to deal with it. Yeah, and then call security and then they give you an attitude. Yeah, that was frustrating. Even, yeah. Anyway, so we're going home now. Say hi, guys. We did the mask. I know. Mommy has to wear a mask around you because I don't want to get you sick. So now she wants to wear it sometimes or make her dolls wear it. Oh, wow, Presley Bear. Good job. She wants to show you her penguin. Let's play and dance. Ooh, good job. Let's sing. One, two, three. Yeah! How are you today? Go girl! Go girl! Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Hello. I completely forgot to show you guys our sushi that we got. And now it's all done. But we had a good sushi dinner. Jamie is about to make himself an old fashioned drink because he deserves it. And we have Love Island on season seven? Seven or eight? I don't know. Not as good as the last season. Or excuse me, not as good as the season with Molly May. But anyway, we're gonna call it a night. So this is where I end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. And Jamie wants to say goodbye. Good night, everyone.